Howdy y'all, people been saying there's a mighty big critter out here skittering around. Let's see if we have what it takes to wrangle it up ourselves. Greetings and salutations, my name is Eric and this video is going to be a little bit different. Under cover of fog, I want to kind of do a little more of a showcase video on the Colossus Scorpius. And I've been running around for a couple hours just hunting, I've probably killed a couple dozen. And then over here, where'd it go? Right there, is a 150. However, I was so caught up in hunting for it, I completely forgot to bring the stuff I need to tame it. <laughs> so let's go back and get what we need, eh? Oh yeah, and if anyone's wondering, the Colossus Scorpius is a uh, mod at the end of the day. But I was going to say, oh, but better to not get your hopes up if you're on console. But mods are on consoles nowadays, aren't they? So, uh, sweet, everyone can, everyone can have their own giant scorpion. And while it does take exceptional kibble, I have resources for extraordinary kibble, so might as well make that, eh? And if you end up finding this video informative or enjoyable, consider liking and subscribing. I greatly appreciate the support, and we're trying to get to a thousand subs eventually. Alright, there it is. They're normally found in the dunes, uh, and I believe it's on Karno Island on the island. So I'm just gonna build a tiny little trap. Uh, it's pretty big, so I don't expect it to be able to get out of much, you know. Uh, well, come on, stop snapping pretty, please. Uh, then, like, right there. So they have stats comparable to a Rex. Uh, let's see. Yeah, comparable to a Rex. That's not bad health. Why are you going after that guy when I'm right here, you know? Can you pick one up with a Wyvern? No, they have a really high drag weight. Uh, they can lift stuff comparable to a Quetzal, if I'm not mistaken. Come on. Alright, let's get this guy in the trap and then we'll get the show on the road. Please, please follow me. Yeah, come on. Ooh, I don't know if this trap is big enough. They can hit you off your mount. Oh, I, I whiffed that pretty hard. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no. Are you seriously too big to fit even in there? Oh my goodness. Give me a second. Uh, it can walk over top of dino gates. It can walk over top of dino gates. This is problematic. All right, I had to scrounge up a couple gates. I had some from drops, but I had to make, uh, what was it? Three behemoth adobe doors. That took forever. And now let's go back and finally trap this thing. I know you can probably do it without a trap, but I am a chump. I see you right there. Do not. Oh, heck. Are they going to be all wonky on me? I might have to do it up here where it's a little more flat. Uh, and then we just leave a little bit of space between them. For me, at least. Oh, goodness. Turning radius of a freaking tank. Except for can't tanks turn on a dime? Or am I just losing my marbles? Don't answer that, because it's both. Hello, Colossus Scorpius. Would you please follow me? Yeah. Uh, no outstanding stats from the look of it, but we'll never know what we get until we tame it up. So let's bring it in here. It's pretty wild when you have to have four behemoth gates to trap some. Yeah. And it can't... There we go. Now, if it can, like, scale those things... I don't know what I'm going to do. Alright, kill these. Uh, everything looks good. Titana both of these nuts. Let's get everything clear and then we can start tranking it. It's just a normal trank. Alrighty, let's get this show on the road. That took quite a while, and you're glitching into the floor, pal. Uh, I don't know. Let's see how fast it's to our drains. Uh, why did I make five? Uh, it only needs four. Uh, food goes down. Ooh, that's a tough one. Well, it'd be tough to say. However, however, however. So this is on five times taming, if I'm not mistaken. So expect about 20 kibble for a uh, 150. Kind of like similar to a Rex, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, let's just wait for this bad boy to wake up. And I forgot my cryopods. Oh, that could have ended poorly. Ooh. 
Hey, okay, I was waiting around for quite a while. It looks like it eats every 100 food instead of the normal 50. Uh, 42 food. Ah, uh, 42 food. That's okay. Let's pick this stuff up and let's bring it back to base. So the Colossus Scorpius comes with not one, not three, but two saddles. The normal saddle's at level 22 and it's like really cheap to make. Just a bunch of wood, uh, fiber, wood, and hide. And then at level 50, you get the, the platform saddle, which is honestly really freaking cheap too. However, I haven't seen any in drops yet. So I'll have to maybe check the I and I for that. Alrighty, throw you out. Big boy. Alright. Throw the platform saddle on you. And then, voila. Oh, wow. Okay, it's surprisingly faster than I was expecting. How big is that platform? Is that two foundations? And you get dismounted onto the back. Uh, let's see the building area for it. So it looks like ceilings don't snap to the edges. And then foundations. Ooh, this is going to be tough. Let's uh, build just a little, actually, just a little bit on here. So you can probably, oh, you can't even get, so it's too wide. And then we can put the foundation, I mean, the ceilings on the outside. Yeah, okay, you can make a tiny little base on here. But there's something I want to try. We can work on building in a minute. I, I have ideas. But these stats, so 12,000 health, 2,500 stam, oxygen, food, no one cares, 1,300 weight, and 348% melee damage. Okay. And I believe, if you go C, you can even pick up flyers. Yeah, I believe this is the only creature that can pick up flyers. I don't know why they made it like this, but hey, I'll take it. Hello, Paraceratherium. Can I... No, you can't pick up you. Okay, let's go pick up something. And I want to show off it's, uh, you know, the one move that it really wants to do on stuff. Let's... Okay, Carno, please stop running away. I said please. And we can do a damage test too while we're at it, eh? Oh, uh, oh that was a headshot. So... 174 it looks like so uh c to pick it up and then right click does a bunch of topor damage that is hey can i see you uh, nope a uh, c drops it i was gonna think we could pick it up with uh what word am i thinking of the other claw like a carcanos but no jeez louise one attack a thousand topor Oh, ho, 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 ho. and you're out too? <laughs> no, fear me. Oh, the Leicester Star is the one thing that hasn't gone out in a single hit. Now you fear me. <laughs> wow. Okay. And then you just. Oh, tape jar. Ooh, I wonder if we could sneak up on a tape jar and pick it up, but I don't think we can get that close. Now the tail is getting in the way. Uh, spa space does nothing, X does nothing, left click you just does the double attack, right click is the stinger. It takes up quite a bit of stamina though. This thing is pretty cool. Like, hey, hey Procoptodon, hey Procoptodon, hey. Pick you up. Hey, come over here, pal. And then, boink, boink, boink. Oh, oh, this is pretty good. Uh, so let's see, 12,300, so 600 health per, let's get you up to 15k. Yeah, one more after that, and then we can mess around with other stuff and things. Uh, this thing, I wasn't expecting it to be this powerful, that's for sure. Like, it's strong, and it's not like game-breaking strong. But for like, how many resources it takes to tame? Yeah, it, it's pretty, like, I, I'd say it's comparable to like, a really strong Rex. So not bad. It used to be able to uh, be knocked out as easily as a normal scorpion. So uh, gl glad they changed that. Come on. Come on. Come on. A little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. Yep, I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, but it hates swimming. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so uh, don't, don't take this out on a leisurely boat ride, eh? Oh, wow, that's slow. And it doesn't seem to harvest anything other than meat and hide, like a normal carnivore. 
Yeah, it's just destroying the trees. And I believe if you finagle it right, you can do a Skyrim horse thing. And I was doing it earlier, like up here. And then it has a pretty high step height. Like how it was able to walk over the doors, but it can't. I can't get it to walk over the one high walls. But come on, and we're up. That works. <laughs> uh, hey, 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 bird, hey, bird, hey, come on, you're coming over with me. Boop, sit there, please. <laughs> Wait, can it pick up a wyvern? I, I doubt it. No. Oh, we're out of stam. Oof. Uh, and for weight, so twelve ninety up to so about fifty weight per. Okay. Okay, I'm digging it. Can we pick up a... How about a Phasalosuchus? No. Can we pick up... Uh, hello? Oof. Um, that is no bueno. Oh no, am I stuck? Oh no, am I stuck? Oh no! Now the one reason why I didn't want to go too overboard with this guy is because if you look right there at the bottom, what, right hand corner of the stats? It can breed. So now I'm going to whip up a couple more kibble and then we're going to go hunt for a female. But I don't know how much of it I'm going to show because, you know, I just showed the whole thing. Oh, heck, I, I, I'm just going around hunting them and uh, they can hit you off off the back of your mount. Will I? Yep, I got zonked out. Oh, my goodness. I should be fine. I should be fine. So it's been a little bit and I've hardly been able to find any, especially like no females are spawning. So, now, we're just gonna use the scorpion to tame the scorpion, eh? I wanna see how this works. I wonder if they're immune to their own stings? It's only a level 10, so we're just gonna use spoiled meat because it still works pretty well. So, boink, 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 and sleepy night night time. That was easy. So now I'm just gonna throw some spoiled meat in there, and we'll have a breeding pair. So, while they eat kibble every 100 food, it looks like they eat spoiled meat every 50. So, interesting how that works. It would be... Honestly, so the difference between kibble and spoiled meat isn't that much because it doesn't look like the taming effectiveness is going down too much, which is pretty nice. Is that super heat coming? Please, no. Please, no. Hello. Welcome. I, I don't like how they slide, but I guess that's just... What happens when you have a super big creature, eh? Alright, let's get you home and get, wrap up this video a little bit, eh? I wish air conditioners were a little more quiet. So, you and then... Come on. You. And we're just going to breed them together to try and get all the good stats on one. Uh, behavior, enable mating. Behavior, enable mating. And then we wait. Ah, heck, they gestate. Okay. That gestation period takes quite a while. Hello. You are... Heck, you're a male. Ah, uh, you are... Mm. Alrighty, it looks like with my rates, they raise up at about the speed of a Rex, if not a little faster. So I think it's based off, like, the stats and whatnot of a Rex. Neat. Ooh, twins. Male and... Male. These twins never happened hello there i'm having horrendous luck trying to pass down stats for like all the projects that i'm working on right now like come on guys just work with me here like i've disposed of so many babies we're already up to level what 105 i've just been doing a little bit more weight goodness gracious oh heck i freaking it starved to death oh no uh oh their food goes down really fast i did even with my settings, oh my goodness. Okay. Ah, uh, I gotta be more careful then. Jeez Louise. And you're about to pop out a baby here in a second. Uh, spoiled meat. Goodness great. Oh, that would have been a close call. Eat that. And then we have another baby over here. And a sandstorm. What is my luck? Goodness gracious. Uh, 147 male. Yeah, you guys don't see that one. Hello, welcome to the world. You're a male, never mind. Actually... You know what? I don't think it really needs oxygen. But we're, let's raise this one up and we can wrap up this episode, eh? Alrighty, imprinted damage test. Not bad right off the hop. And how many levels are we going to get from this? 21. That's, uh... So let's get up to 20,000 health? Sure, why not? Uh, how much weight are we... Let's get up to 2,000 weight and then pump the rest into melee. For a bit, at least. Nice. I want to get some mutations on these guys. 
what's rough is you can get three foundations on here but they're not they like they don't snap uh what about ceilings uh hello ceilings so like the ceilings can snap around but you'll notice they like intersect Ooh, actually interest yeah see how it intersects a little bit maybe we could hmm uh so it's being a little funky maybe we'll have to build a little bit smaller and i don't know the structure limit i'm trying to figure that out but if you press alt uh this was an addition in survival ascended alt come on you can go camera like uh camera mode and then you can zoom out so now the stinger isn't as much in the way which is pretty nice and it also looks like walls don't snap to the platform saddle itself and when you have uh, structures on a platform saddle, you can't cryopod the creature anymore. So I'm going to try and figure something out and make this quick. Dang it, I was trying to make something cool that looked like battle armor, and then this just looks phallic. Well, I was trying for the structure limit, and then I just couldn't reach it. So I kind of went a little overboard. Uh, and you can make a surprisingly large base on the back of these things. Uh, it's a lot less phallic now, which I greatly appreciate. Uh, we got the cannons up there with the little um, ladder to get up to them. They're completely useless cannons, but hey, they're cannons, and cannons are cool. Uh, and we have a little makeshift base in here. I gotta get some gas in the generator, but that's for this lamp. I'm gonna add some more lamps, I think. Maybe we could use some wooden ones, like the torches. Got a little uh, forge and a uh, cooking pot bed vessel chair i don't know why we have a chair but why not uh honestly this and then little double doors i really like how this turned out and you can see at the front with the structure skin set i actually love how this turned out i really want to work on the top a little bit more but like you can make a pretty nice base on the back of these things i think in the, a couple more episodes we're going to be piddly farting with it a, a bit and to finish up, I've been breeding the lightning wyvern eggs in the background just to try and get all the stats condensed. And you are no good, so it is level grinding time. What? Yeah, that's that's not bad. Uh, and then we can probably take this for a little spin and then wrap this episode up. All right, many levels later. Uh, it's kind of hard to see what we're shooting or not shooting at. It's stabbing at. Jeez Louise. Okay, can we? Oh. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. It's a little wibbly wobbly on the inside, but this, this is cool. Yeah, maybe don't build a box so big if you're going to be like using it to trank stuff out. Holy moly macaroni and cheese. This, this is goodbye. <laughs> Fear me for I am the mighty scorpion something 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 this is cool hey paraceratherium hey paraceratherium hey oh boink it's so hard to get a good uh oh you can destroy my structures can't you yep uh we will have to uh change ch probably change your plans in the next episode oh and it's out wow this thing this thing's pretty good uh, I gotta see. So you gotta be careful. Uh, what did you destroy? Not you. Not you. Oh, okay. I thought cannons were a different material class. But they can be destroyed by quite a bit, I guess. Wow. What should we do to finish this up? Actually, let's wrap this up here. So the Colossus Scorpius is incredibly powerful, but not game-breaking. I actually think it's a great addition. Yeah, you can build a little base on its back surprisingly large oh there's a dead vulture i thought i think this mod's pretty cool and I'm, maybe you should add it to your playthrough uh and thank you everybody so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and found this informative or enjoyable or blah 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 you know the grl uh and i will see you guys in the next one Bye bye